imagine you're standing on top of a building on Earth, um, and uh, and you drop a cannonball off the top of the building. Now, wh wherever the cannonball is, there's there's always going to be an acceleration of um, well, on Earth it's nine point eight, but let's round it off to ten. Uh, there's always an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. So no, no matter where the cannonball is, let's say it's over here, there's, 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 there's going to be an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. So no, wh wherever the cannonball is, even if it's here, there's going to be an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared downwards. Okay, so, so your, your acceleration time graph for the cannonball would look like this. So this would be 10, um, and your, your, your speed, uh, time graph for the cannonball will look like this, and your distance, your distance time graph for the cannonball will look like this, a curve like this. Um, and by the way, the, um, the acceleration of 10 meters per second squared downwards, that's the same as, uh, you sitting in a car with your dad, and your dad puts his put, uh, puts his foot on the accelerator, and the, uh, and the car accelerates 10, meters per second squared. So the distance covered here will be the same as the distance covered by covered by this cannonball. So 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 you can imagine it as, as a road being vertical like this and your dad uh your dad is well you and your dad are sitting in the car and it's and it's accelerating uh ten meters per second squared. It, it's, it's similar to that. The the uh, the distance covered will be the same. So the 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 cannonball and the car will be uh, you, you can imagine it as like this. So re really, the, the two the two situations here, here and the car, they're, they're in effect. They're 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 pretty much the same. Uh, so so the the acceleration time graph, speed time graph, and distance time graph will look like this in, in both scenarios. Okay. Uh, now let's um, w w when you're given a distance time graph, um, well, y y you can find out the speed by finding out the gradient of um, of of the distance time graph. So, for example, if if you're given the speed time graph, you can if you work out the gradient of this, it will represent the acceleration. Okay. If you're given the distance time graph, um, if you if you find the gradient of this, it will represent the speed. Um, it, you see, in the past, I, I've I've um I've given you distance time graph where 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 the uh, the line so well where the line is straight something like this. So, so it's nice and easy when, it's nice and easy to work out the gradient because you just form a triangle down here. But what happens when it's a graph? So, um, so, so what happens when the, uh, the distance time graph is a curve? Okay, so, so in this video, um, I, I, well, there, there, there are normally three graphs, acceleration, time, and then, and then you've got speed, time. Now, what happens when the when you're given a distance time graph, but it, it's a curve? So how would you find out the speed? Well, what you would do, what's called um, you 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 would draw a what's called a tangent line, uh, where where it just touches this. So hang on, let's let's um, let's look at this. So so this situation here, the uh, the the acceleration time, uh, speed time, it would look like this. Um, and uh, and the the distance time distance time now in the previous video uh, or videos uh, I, I I explained it in several videos so here um, the, the the line here is y equals um, equals a well equals g uh, g x um, well well g or a the acceleration times this okay now. Um, if you work out the area underneath this thing here, it represents a distance. So for the equation for this line is y equals um, uh, g uh, x squared over two. Okay. That, so so re remember that formula h equals g t squared over two. So so you, you can imagine it as like this. Okay. So the equation for this line is in the form of acceleration uh, something squared. You can either use t or x. And then over two. So this curve here is really in effect y equals uh, equals. In our case, because we're on Earth, ten y equals ten x squared over two. Well, this here is really uh, you, you can imagine this as being five x squared. Okay, because the ten divided by two is five. So you, so you, the equation for this line is is five x squared over two. 
Now, if you if you plot this uh, this curve here, uh, th th this is a line of well, remember it's h equals g t squared over two. But but let's let's just imagine that this is y and this is x. Now the equation for this line is um, is ten uh, x squared over two. Well, we're just going to merge these two together, so it's five x squared. Now this uh, this curve here, th this is a quadratic. Remember, this represents our our distance time in a way. Okay. Now uh, we don't care about the negative side. The negative side has no meaning. So uh, in, in in real life, in, in our situation of dropping a uh, a cannonball of a building, negative time uh, doesn't have a meaning in this case. So we are only interested in on uh, well interested in in the positive side. Okay. So um so forget about this. Now I'm going to zoom into this. Okay. I'm going to zoom into this bit here. So uh, so the graph will look like this. Remember this is a graph of y equals uh five x squared. Okay. Now uh, we, we've just been given a distance time graph in effect. This is a distance time graph. So inside your mind you you should be visualizing uh acceleration time speed time and then distance time I've, I've given you this graph here so so you know that if you get the, the gradient of this graph it will represent the speed okay so hang on let, let, let me clear this um so now let, let's say what what is the uh, the speed when when time equals 0 0.1 remember this is 0 0.1 second not uh one second okay um the, the reason why i i didn't do um one second is um is because the, the graph looks really steep at one second and, and it's really hard to illustrate it so so i'm i'm, I'm zooming into a small bit okay uh zooming into the small bit and then i can illustrate it so this is this is 0 0.1 second now how do you find out the speed at that 0 0.1 second um well, what you do, you uh, get a ruler. Okay, this is my ruler here. Hang on, this is my ruler here. And uh, and well, hang on. Uh, okay, th this is my ruler here. We are trying to find. We are trying to find the ta the uh, the speed at this point here. Okay, so get get your ruler and uh, and draw a tangent. Okay, don't well it's just a fancy word for a straight line that just touches that point. So hang on. Um let let, let me uh let me do this. So so hang on, I, I am trying to draw a uh, a tangent. Hang on. So uh hang on bear with me. Uh okay, I I'm I'm trying to draw a tangent here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so uh, uh, well, it's it's a lot of it is guesswork. So so it's you trying to draw a straight line um, that just touches this thing here. You see, um, this is a real. Um, it's a lot of guesswork. So so here, this is not a tangent because it it's, it it doesn't just touch the curve. Yeah, uh, this here is not a tangent because um, it, it doesn't just touch a curve. So, um, so the, the tangent is somewhere like somewhere here. And remember, there's a lot of, um, it, it could be inaccurate. So it's, it's just guesswork here. So we are just guessing it to be around here. Okay. So this is our tangent here. Okay. Hang on. Let, let me remove the dots. Okay. So, so this, this is our tangent here. So, so now it's just guesswork now. So now it's, um, uh, well, we, we want to find out the, the gradient of this line. Remember, it, it doesn't matter if you form a small, a small triangle or if you form a big triangle, the gradient will be the same, will always be the same. Um, so, so you could form yourself a small triangle here. Okay. Um, or, well, for, in my case, I'm going to form a big triangle along, along here. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's see. Uh, this, the height here is, is pretty much this. So I'm going to say 0. Are uh, 15. Okay, the the across here is um is uh uh hang on 0 0.15 uh, uh pr near pretty much near uh 0 0.115. Now the height is this um divided by this. 
Now these two are the same. So so what what, what well, the, the gradient m equals 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.15 that equals one. And if you think about it, um, our our, our acceleration is 10. Okay, our our, our speed will be uh, will be 10 uh, 10 y equals 10 x. Okay, so so now if if you if you put this, well, we we are trying to find out the speed at this point here. Now, if you put 0 0.1 into here, the uh, the y the y value would be uh, would be one. So so the speed at this time, by looking at the speed time graph. It's one, but but here we are. We we've been given a distance time graph, so so it it, it does match up. When, when we looked at the distance time graph, um, even though it's a curve, we worked out the gradient to be one, so it, it matches up with this. Okay, so let, let's let's look at when time equals two. So time what sorry a time equals zero point two. So zero point two it will be around here. Okay, so um, let's let's move our tangent line up. Hang on, I'll, I'll rule her up. So hang on, bear with me. So let's let's move it up here. Now this here is not a tangent, okay? Because because it doesn't just touch a line. So um, let let me try and do my best and create a tangent. And it's it's a, a lot of it's guesswork. This here is not a tangent. You can see up here it crosses. So um, so you, again, it's it's just guesswork. So wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. I'm gonna guess like this. Okay, um, so yeah, maybe we, maybe I can move it across a bit. Um, again, guesswork. Uh, th this is my best guess. So now create a um, a, a triangle underneath it. Uh, so um, let's let's use uh, let's use somewhere convenient like here, and maybe uh, I don't know uh, somewhere somewhere around here. Okay, so so this is our our, our gradient here. Now um, this here is not not point two five. This here is not point one five. So the the height here is um, is not point one. Okay, the across here, um, hang on, the across here would be uh, each each block is whether well, one two three four five. Each block is not point not one. Okay, so uh, so not point not one, not point not two, three, four, five, six. So this would be not point not six. Okay, now now the gradient would be this divided by this. Okay, so uh, calculator, uh, calculator. So it, it would be uh, not point one divided by not point not six. Equals this. Um, so, so our our gradient is uh, is 0 0.17. Okay. Let, let let me double check. So, um, so this is not point. The height is not point two. The down here is not point one. So the height is this, and then uh, and then the uh, the the distance here is uh, not. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, get this. Divided by this. So now, if re remember our our speed, the acceleration time graph, it looks like this. Uh, Ten, and this one here looks like um, uh, looks like this at y equals uh, equals uh, ten ten x, if you like. Now the, the speed here, because we're given this graph here, I I'm just using this this speed time graph to double check. So now let's put naught point uh, this into here. So uh, ten, uh, hang on, ten times not point two, got that clear? Ten times uh, times not point two, so it, it would be not point two. Uh, the true answer is not point two, but from my from my guesswork from from the tangent line, we we, uh, we came up with not point uh, one seven. So it's uh, it, it, it's uh, it's good enough because when we're using uh, a tangent line is really guesswork. When you're when you're older, you will learn what's called calculus, and then w with calculus you can find out the precise gradient at this precise point or anywhere. 
Uh, but at the moment, you you don't know calculus yet, so so you have to stick to this um, this crude method, and it is it is a a, a lot of it is guesswork. Okay, you you can only get a rough answer. Okay.